Let's talk about Shuhari, which is a framework used in a lot of agile coaching. Um, it comes from Aikido, which is a martial art, as well as a philosophy and a religion. And it uh, is meant to help people as they're starting to learn the aspect of Aikido um, to help give a structure to how to, uh, to go from being a novice to an expert. And it comes, it comes these three parts, shu, ha, and ri. At the shu level, you are trying to copy the techniques from the master. So this is not the point where you're asking a lot of questions. You're not trying to figure out why. You, um, you're kind of blindly going by what the master says and kind of trusting them to say, uh, yep, this is something I want to learn, and I'm going to go with this, and I'm not going to, not going to try to dive into uh, if this should be different for me or anything. I'm just going to do, kind of do what I'm told. At the ha level, here is where you reflect on the meaning. So you're still doing those techniques that you've learned the mechanics of, but now you can look at the why behind it, and how things relate to each other, what the background of it is, and uh, um, just get a little bit deeper into it, but only after you've learned the, the mechanics of it. Then once you get to the re-level, now you may go beyond the original teachings. And this, this, is, the, this is the time when you can start to customize um, the practices for yourself. You can make Aikido your own, and you can you can start to um, to personalize it, and to to change um, to change the the practices. And um, but before that, you're really not supposed to. You're supposed to be copying, and then thinking about the why, and then you can move on to customizing.